Are you looking for some dinner spätzle ideas? In this video, I will show you traditional German spätzle dishes for every day of the week. And by the way, in the description box down below, there is a link to my favorite spätzle recipe and to a video on how to make spätzle with different techniques and tools. German spätzle can either be served as a side dish or a main dish. And I'm gonna start this video by showing you all the saucy dishes. One of my favorite spätzle dishes and uh, this is actually goulash made of game and served with hazelnut spätzle. So the spätzle are actually made with a hazelnuts. And the whole thing is served with two sauces, a creamy mushroom chantarelle sauce and the meat gravy from the goulash. If you are a fan of of spätzle and you have never tried a hazelnut once, you really need to search for this recipe on the internet. Last year, when we've been to Schwarzwald, we have realized uh, that uh, there even the beef roll is served with a spätzle. That was very surprising because in the area where we live, uh, this would be served with a potato dumpling, but it really goes well, so why not? Also in Schwarzwald, we tried another dish that was served with spätzle and those were veal rolls filled with some onions and mushrooms, a serious treat. And in the same restaurant, we have also eaten a pork and veal roast with a chantarelle sauce served also with spätzle. Spätzle, of course, can also be served with a beef roast. And that's either the normal beef roast or the Sauerbraten. Another traditional way of serving Spätzle is with Rindergeschnetzeltes. This is a very similar dish uh, to Zürcher Geschnetzeltes, but instead of veal we're using beef. So the pieces of beef are prepared with a creamy mushroom sauce and served with a wonderful Spätzle. Schnitzel are also a beloved side dish to be served with a schnitzel and sauce. On the screen right now, you can actually see Spätzle made with a spelt flour, whole grain, therefore the Spätzle has got a different color. And those were served with a wonderful cordon bleu, which is schnitzel filled with ham and cheese and cream sauce. And of course, you can serve spätzle also with a regular schnitzel. Just make sure that you've got a sauce, either the hunter sauce or the cream sauce. Very typical, especially in Baden-Württemberg, where the spätzle are from, is to serve spätzle as a side dish with lentils and sausages, traditionally with Seitenwürstchen, but I'm using Frankfurter. To make this incredible lentils, you would need to fry onion on butter, then add some flour because we're going to make a roux out of this, which we're going to cook for several minutes because we want it to be a bit darker. Yes, so this color would do. Then we're going to add some lentils, either cooked or straight from the can, and we're going to mix the whole thing. The mixture for me was too thick, therefore I added a bit of water. Oh my goodness, I can't believe how creamy this was. The last step is to season it with a vinegar. You can of course add some salt and pepper as well. And also some mustard, how could I forget? And serve the whole thing with a spätzle and sausage. And I'm gonna confess here, this is my favorite way of eating lentils. This recipe needs to go on my blog immediately. Spätzle can also be eaten in a soup. This soup is actually called Geisburger Marsch. This dish was invented in Geisburg, which is the district of Stuttgart. It is made of clear beef broth, spätzle, cooked potatoes, cut it in cubes, cooked beef and of course, lastly, fried onions. The meal was already very popular in the 19th century and that's probably because it was one of the most nourishing dishes. Spätzle can also be served like Italian pasta, so combined with a few ingredients. This dish consists of Spätzle and actually Knöpfle. Kraut Spätzle are made of Spätzle, sauerkraut, smoked bacon or kassler, onion and lard and are spiced with bay leaf, juniper berries and sometimes caraway seeds and are served with a side salad on the side. This year in Allgäu we have actually found them served as a side to a Zwiebel Rostbraten. 
Another wonderful main dish with spätzle are for sure the Käse spätzle and I guess those many of you know already. Käse spätzle are spätzle mixed with a different kind of cheeses and served with a deep fried onions on the top. And we particularly love them creamy. We make our Käse spätzle with spätzle fried on butter and onion. Then we add different kind of cheeses. The usual one would be Emmentaler, but we love them with a stronger cheeses like Berg Käse or Romadur. And we also put a bit of cream to our mixture. In Allgäu, Käse spätzle are traditionally served on their own, but also with its Zwiebel Rostbraten. On the screen right now, you see this wonderful Zwiebel Rost Braten that was served with Käse spätzle and also the other one that I actually cooked for you a few weeks ago. I will link the video how to make it in the description box down below for you. Spätzle can also be served as a sweet dish. I have actually made a dessert out of them, but this might as well be a main course. So I melted butter and fried on the medium heat thinly sliced apple pieces. Then I added a good tablespoon of sugar and caramelized them. To this mixture I added spätzle and I fried it for like 2-3 to three minutes. When the spätzle changed a color to golden, I knew they were ready. I transferred them to small bowls, seasoned with cinnamon and powdered sugar. That was a serious treat. It was definitely better than I expected it to be. Spätzle can also be prepared like potato pancakes, but those are called spätzle puffer, so spätzle pancakes. To make this wonderful dish, you're gonna need some egg that you're gonna mix with flour and season with a salt and nutmeg. Also, you're gonna add some cheese to the mixture before just adding the spätzle. Then you're gonna mix it all together, making sure that all ingredients combine. The mixture should be pretty thick. Then you're gonna fry on the medium heat the wonderful pancakes. I fried them until they became golden brown. Oh, those were really a serious treat. I think this is the perfect dish from leftover spätzle. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you liked a bit of a German spätzle inspiration. Next week we will be moving on to other German dumplings, so please stay tuned to that. Please let me know in the comments down below what is your favorite way to eat spätzle, and I bet 50% of you will say spätzle with a sauerbraten. Anyway, have a lovely week, stay safe, healthy, and I will see you on my next one. Bye!